<laughs> well, I will not be blackmailed by some ineffectual, privileged, effete, soft penis debutante. You want to start a street fight with me, bring it on, but you're going to be surprised by how ugly it gets. You don't even know my real name. I'm the f Lizard King. People in the fan theory community claim that this statement means that Robert California is the deceased lead singer to the 1969 rock band The Doors. A bit far-fetched for me, but there is a handful of examples that support this, the main one being that Jim Morrison also referred to himself as the Lizard King. In fact, here are two more examples backing this theory that I haven't seen anyone point out online. First one being that James Spader's character goes by different aliases in the show. The main one, Robert California, was possibly inspired by the guitarist from the band The Doors, Robbie Keeger, who was born in California. Robbie? California? Eh? In addition to this, he plays the harmonica, a skill shared by him and Jim Morrison. But I don't think this is the case at all. I think Robert calling himself the Lizard King is because he's expressing to Andy that he is a master chameleon, aka a Lizard King. What does chameleon mean? Well, a chameleon is someone who often changes his or her beliefs or behaviors to please others or to succeed. Someone who is quick or frequent to change, especially in appearance. This description fits Robert to a T. You don't even know my real name. He's able to change his personality and name to whatever the situation needs for him to gain something. Like when David Wallace buys Dunder Mifflin and goes to the office to announce that Andy is the new manager and fires Robert. Robert's able to manipulate David into giving him a million dollars and fund him to go overseas to mentor college-age girls in developing countries. Changes his name from Robert California to Bob Kazamaski seeing that David Wallace wouldn't tolerate his wacky sexual personality as Robert California. There is only sex. Everything is sex. He's a master manipulator. He's able to manipulate Jim, Gabe, and Toby during his interview. He's able to do this by repeating their names back to them and not breaking eye contact while asserting authority, which is a form of manipulation. You see, he's acting this way because he's applying to be the boss. Being the most powerful person in the room helps his chances of the office gang seeing him in a position of authority, trying to seem fair but firm. Do you understand that what I'm telling you is a universal truth, Toby? Yes. Then when he gets hired as the manager of the local branch, he's able to convince the CEO of the company Saver to step down so he can have their job. So when Robert's saying to Andy that Andy doesn't know who he is, that he's the Lizard King, he's saying just that. No one knows his real name because he is a mastered chameleon. Hi, uh, I hope you enjoyed my fan theory. Um, leave a like and uh, comment in the thing. Hit share and just do the whole thing. Hit the bell, do all of it so I can just quit my fucking job and do this full time. Thank you, bye.